So the new Redmi Pad Pro is quite a bit bigger than the original or regular Redmi Pad, but is it really that much better? Well, let's talk about it. Pricing is just over $200 in the United States for the Redmi Pad, about $300 for the Pro. One advantage for the Redmi Pad Pro is it starts at 128 gigabytes of storage instead of only 64 for the smaller version. It also has more RAM with six or eight gigabytes instead of only four or six. The nice thing is you can use a micro SD card for expanded storage on both tablets. One of the biggest differences between these two is obviously the screen size. We're talking 10.61 inches for the regular Redmi Pad versus 12.1 inches for the Pro. They're both IPS LCD displays, but the Pro has 1600 by 2560 resolution versus 1200 by 2000 on the smaller version. You also have 600 nits brightness on the Pro versus 400 on the regular size. You also get 120 hertz refresh rate on the Pro versus 90 on the regular Redmi Pad. So obvious advantage goes to the Pro version as far as screen quality, brightness. It also has a little better viewing angles as well when you compare it to the regular version. One advantage for the smaller tablet is when it comes to battery life, I ran the same battery drain test at 100% screen brightness for both tablets and the regular Redmi Pad lasts about nine hours versus only six for the Pro. Of course, you can get better battery life on the Pro using a lower refresh rate and tweaking a couple other things. You also get 33 watt fast charging on the Pro, 18 watt on the regular version. Both of these should have plenty of power to last a couple days of mixed usage if you turn the screen brightness down. But if you want the tablet with better battery life, you'll want to go with the regular Redmi Pad. Software wise, they're going to be very similar. In fact, both are on Android 14 Hyper OS software and they both have Google Discover newsfeed left to the home screen. They've got the same control center up in the corner. I actually like what they're doing where it's a mixture of Android and iPad OS. These are also some of the few Android tablets where you can turn the volume up and down just right on the screen instead of using the buttons. There's a few little things like that, which I like on their software. Of course, one advantage for the Redmi Pad Pro is it's new so you'll get longer software support. But overall, you can't go wrong with either one. You're gonna get about the same software experience. You can even get their official keyboard and stylus or pen on the Pro version. So that's something to think about as well. When it comes to performance, of course, since the Redmi Pad Pro is the newer, bigger version, it's got more RAM and it's gonna be more powerful. As you can see here in the single and multi-core scores, you've got the Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 processor versus a MediaTek Helio G99 on the smaller Redmi Pad. I think both are fine for doing some light gaming. Games like PUBG Mobile and Asphalt 9 play fairly smooth on both, but obviously if you want the tablet with better performance, you'd wanna go with the Pro. Another thing to keep in mind is it's a little easier to play games on the smaller version because it's a little easier to reach things on the screen versus the Pro. One advantage for the Pro is you have a headphone jack where you don't get that on the smaller version. You also have two speakers on each side with Dolby Atmos on both tablets and they sound pretty good overall. I think you'll notice a slight difference between the two, but here's a quick sample to see if you can tell a difference. When it comes to the cameras, you've got an eight megapixel main lens on the back of both and eight megapixel on the front of both as well. The regular Redmi Pad has an extra wide lens versus just a wide angle on the Pro, but they're somewhat similar as far as photo and video quality goes. I think you could use either of these for Zoom meetings or other video conference calls if you had to, but here's a quick sample of each just to give you an idea of what to expect.
So as you can see, there's definitely some nice upgrades with the new Redmi Pad Pro over the smaller version, but it's probably gonna depend on what's more important to you on whether it's worth going up to the Pro model. I know I've got a few more comparisons to do with the Redmi Pad Pro, plus I've got phone and other tech stuff that I'm working on as well. So you'll wanna keep an eye out for those upcoming videos. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.